Luke Solomon with WRSU, and today I'm in New Brunswick's very own Mason Gross School of the Arts, where I'm lucky enough to be interviewing and talking with Spicy Stir Fry. They are a local jazz funk band, and it sounds like they're just finishing up their practice now. Let's go say hi. What's up? How's everyone doing? Hey, hey friends. You guys on practice? No, we have one more tune left. What's it called? Spain. All right. What's your name? <laughs> my na Wait, where am I looking? That camera? Uh, honestly, look at me. My name is Jacob. Uh, my name is Chris. I'm Alex. Colin. My name is Kyle. My name is Ben. What instrument do you play for the band? I play bass. A little slow. Sorry, sorry. I play guitar. I play drums. I play bass. I play piano and keyboards. Trombone. I play saxophone. What's your favorite song right now? Of ever or just like stir fry songs? <laughs> What's like, your favorite song right now? <laughs> That's hard, man. I listen to a lot of music. My favorite song right now is uh, Cycling Through Reality by Kendrick Scott. On the Up by Urban Knight. Juju by Wayne Short. St. Alfonso's Pancake Breakfast by <laughs> Frank Zappa. A Boosie Junction by Coco Roco. I'm Falling in Love, Bill Watrous. Before we get into the good stuff, I thought I'd prepare some riddles and give out some prizes to everyone get the answer. All right, yeah, sound good? Let's yeah, go. Yeah, you guys ready? This is huge. I never was, but I'm always to be. No one has ever seen me, and none ever will. And yet, I am the confidence of all, as to live and breathe is to guarantee my existence. What am I? Time. Aging. Age. Old. Time. Time. Air. 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 I forget. The riddle. The future. The future. Here is your prize. I hope whole milk is okay. Thank you. Is this just milk, guys? <laughs> so, how did you all meet? Yeah, we met at uh, Barca City in New Brunswick. We at met a... in the bathroom of Barca City, actually. Yeah. We meet there. You, we met yeah, we didn't meet there. <laughs> oh, we had the idea. Well, right. the band actually was conceived in the bathroom. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we had the idea for the band in the bathroom of Barca City. And then we got people in it through the program that we're in in the music department at Rutgers. Do you write your own songs? Yes, we do write our own songs. We also do covers, but we have a lot of uh, original songs we play on eventually releasing on an album. Some of us will yeah. write tunes individually, or sometimes people will bring in ideas and be like, hey, I have this really hip idea, and then we'll start building on them together as a group. How do you guys decide what songs to perform in each venue? It depends on the, the vibe of each venue that we're going to. Like, if some, a venue's more like jazz or funk based, we'll play, we'll cater to that venue, or if it's more heavy music, we'll play a little bit heavier songs. Like our last venue at the laundromat, they have a lot of like punk or like heavier uh, bands show up there, so we played one of our new songs, The Griddler, it goes pretty hard for my Kyle. Yeah. I just really love the group writing process. It's like a very beautiful thing. What kinds of places do you perform at? Uh, we mostly play at basement shows. We played at uh, Davy Jones, The Laundromat, The Funny Phone, uh, Rock Bottom, The Core. We played at uh, uh, Pino's, The Bar. Pino's was our first gig, actually, like, first big one. Besides Ben's Backyard. Yeah, besides sure, yeah, yeah. What's your favorite part of performing at venues like these? Wait, Colin, have you answered it? Mm-hmm. 
That's the whole way of life! Um, pretty much the energy that the crowd brings, you know, everyone's super excited to come see us. Like, yeah. We've had some cats sing at our shows, like, sing the melodies to some of our originals, so right, like, that's right. really hip too. Was Colin blocking Ben the whole time and you didn't tell me? I'm like... Rapping okay, you're good. Okay. Yeah, it's just a really good time when everyone likes a song. They give you energy back while you're playing for them. And that's like a nice experience interacting with our fans. Do you guys have fans that come out just to see you? We've had a couple people come up to us and be like, Hey, I saw you at like the core gig and we think you're really good. So we decided to come out to your next show. And like, it's always cool seeing people come up to us and be like, Hey, we've seen you before and we decided to come see you guys again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it feels really cool when like knowing that we started like really small just playing in Ben's backyard with just a couple friends watching us And now we have like people we never met before or we're, we're just meeting them as like a band So like that's how they know us. It's pretty cool. We have an Instagram! Yes. Follow us! See, it's like it's really cool to see people um, Follow us on Instagram after every show which you can follow us at spicy underscore stir underscore fried on Instagram um, Yeah Blackpink fans are called Blinks. Fans of Drain Gang are known as Drainers. What are Stir Fry fans called? Fries. Fries, yeah. I'm a box that holds keys without locks, and yet they can unlock your soul. What am I? A PN. You got that f***ing instant. <laughs> your reward is a $10 voucher for Jersey Mike's. Wow. For any sub. Do you guys have any long-term plans for the band? Yeah, so one uh, one of our biggest projects right now is we're working on a, eventually recording an album in this room. Um, that's going to include a lot of our original songs that we've been writing. Um, we've been we've been doing a lot of our recording in this room, a uh, kind of very DIY approach. Do you have any other short-term plans? Rehearse? Get money. Well, we're writing a new song uh, called uh, Scrocodillo. Oh. It's a nice one. I found the melody out for that in one the in the shower. Yeah, he's like, it was just playing in my head for some reason, I don't know why. This guy's thinking. And then I was he, thinking. And then he brought it in and I worked on some chords for it. And Colin just played a beat over it. Now, for this last <laughs> riddle, if you can correctly <laughs> guess the answer, there's a very, very special guest waiting to meet you. He's right outside that door. I can't tell you who it is, but Google calls them the Grammy-nominated multi-instrumentalist creator of an Australian psychedelic music project. And they are waiting right outside this door. Are you ready? Life, feared more than death or mortal strife, the poor have me, but the rich require, and what contented men desire, what the miser spends and the spendthrift saves, and all men carry to their graves. What am I? And your time starts now. Twenty. Thirty-seven. The time. Something. The horse's name was Friday. Yeah. <laughs> saxophone. Nah, no, it can't be saxophone. It can't, it can't be. It's gotta be trombone. It's gotta be trombone. Jazz and funk band. Well, I'm sorry to say that your time is up, but there's always next time. <laughs> well, before we go, is there anything you guys want to promote? Well, we actually have a new single we're working on to release, and uh, it should come out about uh, in the late spring, early summer. Uh, it's called Ripopolis. It's a fan favorite. Oh, really? You guys think we can hear it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. oh, hell yeah. Let's get it set up. Yo, for WRCU, I've been Luke Solomon. This has been Spicy Stir Fry. Be sure to follow them on Instagram. And without further ado, this is Repopulous.